Whatever happened to the word riot? Maybe we should just take it out of the dictionary because nobody uses it anymore. Last night in Philadelphia, 200 black people were rampaging through the streets, causing violence, mayhem, property destruction, attacking police, destroying police cars. All of a sudden, the next day, all we hear that it was just, well, some kids got into a fight. Some teens got into a fight. Let's take a look at what happened last night in Philadelphia. Then I'm going to ask these reporters, the same reporters who were saying, wow, whatever happened, what's going on here? We don't understand it. I'm going to remind them what is the cause, why all these black people are on the streets of Philadelphia so regularly causing so much havoc. It's not like no one's asked before. A large crowd of teenagers got into a fight and wreaked havoc on property in North Philadelphia last night. Police say two teenagers were injured in the melee. One was knocked unconscious. Action News reporter Catherine Scott is live where the violent gathering happened last night. Catherine. Sarah, it was chaos here last night. Hundreds of teenagers filled North Broad. They were disrupting businesses. They were fighting. They even damaged a police vehicle. This cell phone video shows police cars lining Broad Street in North Philadelphia last evening. Kate Darty had taken a study break to pick up some coffee when she saw the commotion near Cecil B. Moore. And it was just like a bunch of high school kids just like running around and like cops were like chasing them down. Police were called in around 7.30 Sunday night. Reports of a disorderly crowd spanning several blocks of North Broad. They encountered several hundred uh, kids out there, uh, young teenagers. Uh, the teenagers were actually fighting each other. Police say some teens stormed Wendy's and one other business and flipped over tables and chairs. Outside, teens fought and disrupted traffic. And during the course of the police trying to uh, interrupt all this, uh, rocks were being thrown at the police. One rock shattered the window of this police vehicle. During the course of the melee, one teen was knocked unconscious and taken to the hospital. Another suffered minor injuries in the fight. And like in a lot of instances, I'm sure it wasn't all of them, you know, but it's a enough to create a chaotic situation and that's what we don't need. Investigators are working to determine why so many teens were gathered in one place. We begin tonight with this chaos on Broad Street. A section of North Philadelphia suddenly taken over by hundreds of kids prompting police to rush to the scene. Good evening, I'm Denise Nakano and police say those kids were fighting and stopping traffic. The heart of that scene was here on Broad and Jefferson Streets, right by Temple University. It's also an area that's seen these types of crowds. NBC 10's Andrea Klein-Thomas joins us live with more on how officers stepped in before things really escalated, Andrea. Well, Denise, there was an increased police presence out here for hours. As you said, officers have seen these large crowds before. In the past, the students have been organized on social media. Police cars line Progress Plaza on North Broad Street. At its height, officers say more than 200 teenagers walking up from Paris Street were causing a disturbance. Some were fighting and stopping traffic. I thought something about heaven. <laughs> Like the flash, you know, the flash five times after that was about to happen. So I kind of just threw my club, my food in the um, car, and I kind of walked over there and got something to eat because um, I didn't want to get caught up in anything. When officers arrived, the crowd broke up, not before the back window of a patrol car was smashed. The smaller crowds were monitored by the police department's helicopter. You know, last year was the year the National Association of Business Journal declared it the year of the black male image or something like that. Well, you have to think they've done a pretty good job on that campaign because here we have two stories of the same event and everybody wants to pretend that the fact that everybody involved was black, not just on this example, but on lots and lots of others that they've documented at this station and on this channel, the fact that everybody's black has nothing to do with anything. A vicious attack on college students caught on camera, crazed teens rushed these Temple University students in Philadelphia. Mob-style attacks happening across campus, leaving at least six students beaten and bloodied. Police say more than 150 teens have wreaked havoc across campus for nearly two weeks now. They took 50 people into custody, charging four of them with various crimes. One of the reasons we don't do hypotheticals on this channel is because if we wait long enough by the river, all of your enemies will come floating down. So we don't need hypothetical examples. We have real examples. 
I mean, what happened just a month or two ago in Philadelphia when a couple of black people went in there, tried to use the bathroom, tried to sit down, tried to sit, use seats, all without paying. They refused a polite request to, to, to leave because they weren't buying anything. Every reporter in Philadelphia was descending on that Starbucks coffee shop not too far from this riot. Because they all knew where they were in the middle of a case of very, very nasty racial business. So they told us over and over and over all over the country. You Here we have examples. Hundreds and hundreds of black people rampaging through North Philadelphia. And everybody goes, well, I can't figure out what that is. No, no, not at all. A couple of years ago, Temple University, the place where the, all this argy-bargy is happening. They hired a couple of forget what they called them, like urban specialists or something. They hired three, three of the fellows off the streets and threw about 150 grand at them, or more, so they could uh, help them in their public health department figure out why black people are so violent so often in Philadelphia. So the local Temple University, Temple Hospital Journal, they went up and dutifully did a big story about all these all this violence and riots. They put the microphone in front of this guy's face and they said, Well, what's going on? Why why are you know why is there so many why is there so much violence here? Large groups, regularly, often. Why is that? The guy that is paid to do this for a living said, I'm not worried about that. That's just a few kids blowing off some steam. Wow. Just finished a story out in uh, the Great Lakes region. 300 people from Detroit went to a little town called Put-In Bay for a day called Christmas in July. It's supposed to be a little family gathering. Everybody rides their boats. Everybody wears nice clothes. Everybody does a little shopping, has a little bit of fun. These 300 people, 300 black people went into this town and created levels of violence and litter and vulgarity that people have not seen since the last time they held one of these things. So kudos to the National Association of Black Journalists and their campaign to make sure reporters are not reporting on the, on the race of the people causing this unbelievable amount of violence and havoc and chaos. Boy, you guys are doing a great job especially doing a great job of not making the black kids angry.